Well, 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 here it is, the new C63, the W206, that I've uh, since many years back already made some videos about because we all know that no longer does it have a V8 under the hood. It's a four cylinder with hybrid technology. Now we're gonna be talking more about specifics and so on in the upcoming review of the car that's coming in the next video. This video is mainly my first impressions of just getting in the car uh, and driving it from a POV format. Uh, just the initial feel of the car. Uh, and if you're new to this channel, you might not know that I've had two 204 C63s, the one with the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8. And I've had two W205 C63s as well with the four liter by turbo. And having a C63 has always meant that you have a V8 under the hood. That has now changed. This is 670 horsepower combined and 752 pound feet of torque with the uh, hybrid technology, there's a battery that sits on the rear axle. So no doubt it's going to be really quick, but what's it gonna feel like? What's it gonna sound like? That's what I'm gonna give you guys my first impression of, of this new C63 that costs $100,000. So let's just hop in right away. We all know that Mercedes uh, does interiors very, very well. And I mean, this isn't a letdown. I mean, it's got a big, nice screen. I'm not a huge fan of this steering wheel. I've mentioned that before, but it still has a good feel. It's got some Alcantara. I think they call it something else now, but we're just gonna start it. I guess it starts up in like battery mode or something. It's so quiet. Oh, there we go. Put it in sport, sport plus. And we can see uh, engines in dynamic, suspensions in Sport Plus. We can turn this Manatino style knob again and we have it in race. And then uh, we have suspension buttons here and traction control. It's got a nine speed automatic transmission. And again, we're gonna talk more about the tech and all that stuff in the, the review. Uh, this video is mainly just, again, about what it feels like to drive. Good Lord. You know, th this car has the most powerful, you know, production made four cylinder ever. The four cylinder alone, turbocharged of course, makes 469 horsepower and uh, 402 pound feet of torque, which is really impressive. And there's a market for that. I mean, that's a great engine in itself. It just does not belong. in a C63. Okay, we do get loud pops and so on, but it sounds like a CLA 45. Yeah, definitely quick, really quick. And it, there's a lot of pops and stuff. It's just not the same sound. <laughs> it's just not the, oh. You know, I've driven uh, A45s and CLA45s before with the four-cylinder, and they're awesome cars. I mean, they're great. And that four-cylinder is great for that car. It's just, this is so different. This is a C63 that has uh, the same engine plus hybrid technology. Now, one thing that I felt that I, I kind of missed every now and then in my 205 63s was that you know they were rear wheel drive and that car stock was 503 horsepower and it struggled to put the traction down you can never really launch the car really well so they actually fixed that with this car so now it has the formatic system where you can you know take it out of four wheel drive and just drive it in uh, rear wheel drive it has a drift mode and so on now granted that makes the car heavier of course plus with the battery uh, this car weighs around 4,700 pounds. 4,700 pounds for a C-Class. So yeah, I mean, it has a lot of power. It also has a lot of weight.
Oh, we got little crackles and stuff. And you know, again, if I was in a an A45 or a CLA45, that'd be cool. That'd be great. It's just that we're not. We're in a C63. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Let's see here. We have all right. So we have it in manual mode. Yeah, it's definitely quick and it shifts quick too. This doesn't have a dual clutch, but it shifts uh, pretty darn quick. It's just, uh, it's so different, you know, specifically the sound. And, you know, I mean, everything evolves. Cars get more modern, they get more refined. That's just how it is. The 204 C63s, I mean, they were, they were raw. And I'm not saying it has to be exactly like that car, because again, cars get more modern and they get refined. But this is, it feels, I mean, of course, very well put together. Um, it, you know, Mercedes can do build quality. That's just how it is. But the thing is, it almost feels a little too refined. If you don't have the loud sound as well, uh, you know, it, it's just different. For someone that's not an AMG fanboy like myself and haven't owned C63s before, you maybe can't really relate to what I'm saying, but the DNA feels like it's missing. The, the you know, the, the emotion is kind of gone. For a C63 feel, it is. Again, not for maybe like a CLA 45. Th this feels, you know, kind of like a stupid fast CLA 45. It doesn't feel like a C63. Yeah, and it, it's just, I don't know, man. It's so different. But the interior, very nice. We got uh, ambient lighting coming out through the the vents here and here in the doors. I mean, it's just, we got carbon fiber the big screen seats are extremely comfortable this one is not optioned with uh, the four thousand dollar performance seats which look a lot better and they, they hug you a lot better but these seats are they're, they're fine they just don't look as good i have the cooled seats on and they're actually uh kind of working I, I can feel it cooling the seats and that that's been one of my gripes with every german car i've owned tons of them i currently have two and uh you know german cars have ventilated seats they're not really air conditioned seats and they've always been horrible but this actually feels like it's kind of working a little bit so that's good stomp it <laughs> yeah just like we or just like i knew already it was going to be uh it's definitely quick and uh you know i mean it's a nice instrument cluster but I'm not with this for the tachometer and like all these graphics like what happened to a regular speedometer and tachometer they can be digital but like this I don't get it dude what I do now oh yeah and the steering wheel is very touchy like you just rub it and like goes into some setting that you didn't mean to do I don't even know how to get out of it but anyway all right so we're gonna whoops no click here what the hell AMG performance so now we can see an energy flow here how it's going you know motor back to the battery um, which you know I'm not against the, this type of technology I actually think hybrid technology is pretty cool um, again though it's just I don't really care in a car like this this is supposed to be a muscle car just power and sound you know what I mean this is supposed to be like a very nice German Mustang. That's what, you know, we were used to back in the day. Now it's just, I don't know. Again, we're gonna go through more of this in the review. But yeah, um, the tech is definitely nothing wrong with the tech. It's great. Navigation screen, cool as hell. Damn. Uh, it is really, really quick. Um, definitely no no uh, complaints about the performance but it's just something's missing that's uh, the, the yeah the uh, conclusion from my initial you know reactions so we're gonna launch it one time and then we'll end this video with that because um, I, I can only imagine that the launch in this car is pretty freaking great Mercedes says it should do 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds uh, I read somewhere in car and driver they got it down to 2.9 which in my opinion should be the numbers 
for a car that costs this much, has this power, it's all wheel drive. Because you know, I have an, not that these are super comparable, but I have an Audi R7, put a simple tune on it. It does here to 60 in 2.8. There's no hybrid technology. It's a good old twin turbo V8. Sounds menacing. Um, it's not as heavy as this car. But my point is that, you know, Mercedes, reasoning is we all oh, we put a four-cylinder with hybrid technology in there because it's going to be so much faster um, and it is fast but I it could be quicker than this all right so toggling around with the different features you can actually change the way the uh, instrument cluster looks so if we go here you can go to sport it's just like a bunch of graphics and stuff like granted you have uh, digital RPM gauge there and, and speed of course but if we go back you can actually man this touchy thing is so sensitive and then you have like a classic looking instrument cluster which is cool so I like this better but it doesn't look very performance oriented and then understated oh that's pretty cool oh look at that Again, doesn't look AMG-ish though. It looks more like, I don't know, E-Class or S-Class or something. But yeah, we'll keep it in this and then uh, we'll launch it. All right, so to put the car in race start, which is launch control, uh, you're supposed to put it in uh, sport, sport plus or race. And then you turn the traction control off by clicking that button, which I've done. It says it's off there. And then you mash the brake pedal and the gas pedal. But what I'm noticing is that it's not letting me do it. because um, I don't think the car has enough miles on it yet, so it's not activating launch control. But either way, the car uh, is really, really quick. It's just that we can't get it up to 3,300 RPM or whatever it is and then have it launch. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I think it's because the car doesn't have enough miles on it yet. So performance-wise, no complaints whatsoever. Um, it is really quick, the fastest C63 ever made. But honestly, it feels like you're driving a stupid quick CLA 45, and that is not what a C63 should feel like and sound like, in my opinion. Um, so these were just my first initial impressions of driving the car. I'm about to do a full review, so stick around for that uh, on the channel. We're gonna have more sound bites, you know, exterior shots and so on. Uh, that's coming up in the next video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.